I'd love to tell you a little bit about Rowan, our son who just happens to have Down syndrome, um, and the effect that his life has had as a life in the community. Not because he did anything special, not because he was totally clever and he could do this and he could do that, but because he was just a person living in the community. And can I tell you about a neighbour that we had come to live with us? She was elderly and she was lonely. She lived next door to us for 10 to 12 years and we made friends with her and Rowan made friends with her. And after we'd been living there for some while, she said to me, you don't know what Rowan has done for me. Before I ever met Rowan, I was frightened stiff of people with a disability. Partly that was because I had no knowledge of them. And I didn't know how to talk to them, and I didn't know how to treat them. I didn't know if they were going to hit me. I didn't know if they wanted to talk to me or not. And I felt very inadequate, and so I stepped back. And in stepping my back, I virtually turned my back on them because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't understand, and I was frightened. And then I met Rowan, and I had quite a bit to do with Rowan. And I discovered that he was just another person. He was a person who lived next door. He had a person who had a joke with us. He, had a per he was a person who shared a cup of coffee with us. He was a pretty good neighbour. He was just great to have around as a friend. And I'm no longer frightened of disability. And I can now talk to people with disabilities. I can have conversations. I would invite them in for coffee and he has changed my viewpoint on disability. And it wasn't because he did anything special. He has Down syndrome and intellectual disability, but he's just Rowan, another person.